A joint is the area in the body where two bones meet. In the human body, there are several different types of joints, but in this course on joint pain, we will focus on synovial joints, the ones that allow body movements. Let's compare that with non-synovial joints, for example, the ones in the skull. These types of joints do not allow any movement and are not usually affected by arthritis. A major anatomical difference within the different types of joints explains why synovial joints allow movement. The elements that allow two bones to connect to each other in a synovial joint include the articular capsule, which surrounds the entire joint cavity extending beyond the articular surface of each bone, the synovial membrane or synovium, which covers the inner surface of the articular capsule and secretes synovial fluid, the joint cavity, which contains synovial fluid, and finally, articular cartilage, which covers the entire articulating surface of each bone. Depending on the configuration of each joint, different types of movements are allowed. For example, a hinge joint where one articular surface is convex and the other one is concave can only be moved in flexion or extension. Examples include the elbow, the knee, and the ankle. In contrast, a ball in socket joint can not only be moved in flexion and extension, but also in abduction, adduction, and rotation. Examples include the shoulder or the hip. Additionally, joints are surrounded by other soft tissue structures, also known as periarticular elements, that help preserve the function of the joint. These include ligaments, tendons, bursa, and muscles. Let's look at each structure individually. A ligament attaches one bone to another bone and helps stabilize the joint. A tendon is the bridge that connects the muscle to the bone and joint, allowing their contraction to create movement. Certain membranes called retinaculum and pulleys help keep the tendons in their correct position. And a synovial sheath containing a small amount of fluid helps lubricate the tendon to avoid friction and facilitate its sliding. Bursa are important thin fluid-filled sacs located between the bones, tendons, muscles, and joints to also reduce friction and facilitate movement. Blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves are also in the vicinity to provide adequate blood supply, oxygen, drainage, sensation, and motor control. Cartilage does not contain any blood vessels or nerve endings. It gets its nutrients from synovial fluid. And now you know the important elements and nearby structures of a joint and their functions. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.